Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mob Impressions, the show where we take a sneak peek at a recently released or soon to be released game, hopefully letting you know if it's going to be worth your time and money. Today we have an indie game called Please the Gods. This game came out on July 17th and it is a turn-based RPG. It says uh, it has old school dice combat and a flexible skill tree. I'm excited to check it out. Artwork is uh, pretty interesting. Like, he's like looking over here to the left like, what's going on over there? You start the game, huh? Let's see the options. Quick combat. Quick combat throws the first dice each automatically, huh? Interesting. All right, dice. Yu-Gi-Oh, let's roll the dice. What's, what's that Yu-Gi-Oh thing? It's a dimension the dice or something crazy like that. Anyway, the ancient north shows no mercy. Only a miracle can save your family from starvation. You see a vision in your dreams. Sampo, a golden mill torn apart in a forgotten war. Once reforged, the treasure will provide endless riches and nourishment. You promise to return victoriously. Man, if you leave your family for months and they're already... I mean, as you follow your vision to the land of the gods. That's a little weird, huh? I hope you hunted for like a, a two months straight to keep them food while I'm gone. Anyway, after a long and perilous journey, you are finally getting closer. If the tales are true... The legendary Sampo should be nearby. Dang, we're almost there already. This, this is you in the world map. Ah, oh, here it is, a little token, huh? You see a hooded figure in the distance. Uh, select it. Okay. Uh, look at this up here. Hold on, let's look at the UI. Uh, I don't know. Health? Attack? Defense? Overall HP? I don't know what this is. Mysterious old lady. I like the graphics. It kind of reminds me... Of like Maple Story One, I sense the torment of your family. Only Sampo, a treasure of endless riches and nourishment, can save your loved ones. Who are you? How do you know that? Those are questions for another time. Follow my guidance, and you might find what you seek. We're gonna need powerful allies. Travel west. Something is disturbing the wildlife. We have to defend ourselves. Dang. Okay, so this is the combat, huh? Nice tutorial. Guess I'll turn up the volume a little bit. I can't hear anything. Alright, the combat is turn base. Take turns. Defending and attacking. You attack first. Okay. When you press let's see, when you press start attacking, you'll throw two dice, and the enemy will throw two defense dice. Look at this. What's this? Our modifiers? Alright, well anyway. Ooh, so what's this if it's a successful roll? Oh, I see. So you see this is a plus three. That's our modifier of our weapon. So I'm going to guess it's two six dice. So the maximum damage we can do is two sixes to 12 plus three for 15. And if he throws one dice he or two dice, pretty much I have a smaller chance of hitting it than him. Let's just say that. Hey, check it out. Your base attack is added to your attack. <laughs> it's not really rolling. I, I wish, like, in, in these type of games, it kind of, like, throws on the field and rolls. Like, uh, you guys ever played Pathfinder? Um, for the, uh, what the, is it? Path Explorers? Oh, God, I forget. Pathfinder, the, for the, the, the game. All your attack bonuses are shown here. Yep. Enemy bonuses. Yeah, figured that out. Alright. Your attack is higher, so you're in the lead. Your attack skills are shown here. Oh, all right. Ah, we get different cards. Okay, here's a cooldown. And then your attack changes. For balance strike, nothing. You gain an attack, you'll gain that next round. Additional effects. Continue choosing the balance strike. So I will balance strike. Three and four. Why do we throw another dice? Your attack is higher than the enemy's defense, so you deal one damage. Aha, got him. Oh, you see his health. I even see it. So I got six. We have a little doggy. Look, he's really high up on his legs like he's pissed off. He's also missing a tooth. All right. Defendo. It's my turn to defendo. If the enemy attack is higher, you take one. You got it. You have one extra defense. Die. Ooh, because I use balance strike. Dang, I thought it was one to the modifier, but it's one extra defense. Now that sounds really good, huh? 
Hey, where's my extra dice? Let's see, your defense bonus is now added. So four, five, six, seven. This guy has a little bit more than me. But two's a defense skill. Wait, what happened to this? It's not gonna throw? All right. Ward ink spell. What does this mean? I get plus two, but what's the negative? Is that negative on me? The enemy's attack is higher than your defense. Yeah? Increase defense and hopefully avoid taking damage. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My next attack goes down my two, but up two. So it is a modifier to myself. All right, so we activate that. Hey, 14, 14. The defender, the defender wins at the dodge. All right. Now it's my turn to attack again. You can turn a quick combat. No, I'm good. I like throwing the dice. Attack! All right. Dang, modifier is zero, zero. Jeez. Finish him with a reckless charge. Plus two attack dice. Oh my god, plus two attack dice. All right, go. There's no way he wins. He rolls one more die, though, and I don't know why. Huh, maybe it's just a, an automatic response or something. You can gather food in someone encounters. It's consumed when you move to... Oh, this is food. I guess I can see it. For, for a while, I thought it was like a little house icon. You can see that door here and a weird sloped roof. But I guess it's a steak or something. If you run out of food, your attack and defense gets reduced. To the fishing encounter. Okay, so that's an attack. That was a fighting thing. Now they're going to show us some fishing stuff. Plus four, what? Oh, that's plus four food. Mmm. Yummy. Uh, let's see. Sacred stones. Most promising sight. All right. With the right elixir, even a commoner can visit the realm of the gods. Here, have a sip. It's perfectly safe. You gain a skill point after completing a quest. F you can have up to four attack and four skills selected. You can learn a new one by clicking on it. All right, that's cool. Do you have to start from the top, though, I'm assuming? Or start from the bottom and go up here? It's one of these. All right, so we have three of these and three of these. So once we start getting good ones, we have to disable the ones we already have. So... Let's go down and pick an attack one because I think that's way more exciting. One extra attack. Deal one extra damage after the next attack. So what's that plus one defense die? Feral Bite. Mercy Kill. Plus one for each of the enemy has lost. Holy crap. That sounds really strong. I want to get, get that. So there, it's activated. And we're good. Lower survival companion and hunting. We'll worry about that later. Actually, let's take a quick peek at some of the last ones here. For one turn, all damage taken increased by one. All damage taken is increased by one. I'm assuming the enemy. Uh, plus one defense for each health lost. Reroll your lowest value die. Elusive dodge. Swap the value of your enemy's first die. Your. Ooh, interesting. All right, cool. All right, greetings. Look at this guy. He's got the little, hey, you give me the money. Uh, Ati, the god of waters. My servants have gathered a piece. Yes, okay. I sent the spark of heroism. Prove yourself and I'll give you the gold mill. Uh, water maidens have missing in the Black Lake. Go help them out. Black Lake? I don't even know. Where's the Black Lake? What? Let's go. You wolf, prepare defenses, battle cry. Uh, prepare my defenses. You prepare for anything. Is it one v one? Oh, my wolf's got a lot more stuff. What's this? Enemy skills? Ooh. All right. The skill on the left will be used this turn, and then that's the next turn. Oh, he goes in order, huh? All right. Hover over to see what's going on. All right, look at that dodge plus one defense. Well, wild strike seems crazy. Anyway, attack. Look at our modifier for defense. It's pretty high. Dang, I should have attacked first. Hey, we have the advantage here. All right, let's get in with the reckless charge. We don't need to do the mercy kill. We can do the reckless charge. Boom! Take that sucker. 
So that's why the extra thing was there, because the dodge. It was, just didn't show in the tutorial. So now that he attacks, he has plus one attack? Hmm. I have a plus four modifier. We're good to go. All right. Uh, dang. All right. We're going to have to use the defense ability here. Higher ground. What's that mean? Oh, Jesus. 10, 11. We got to go for the warding spell. Plus two. Oh, no. That's right. He wild striked. That was pretty bad. All right. Dodge. All right. He has literally no bonuses on dodge, huh? So. Looks like my... Oh, my God. He beat me on the modifier. Ah, oh, Jesus. Plus two cautious poke? Cautious poke? How does that work? Like, what's this? This is for next turn? Like, like this loads it for next turn? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, look at that. We got some two extra dice in here. This is great. All right. He already loses. All right. So, his next one is just a dodge, which means we're going to go for higher ground. Yeah, we're going to go for the higher ground to get one extra dice for next turn. Okay, I'm going to just... What? Oh, my God. I dodge. He hit 15 as well. All right, his dodge doesn't do anything. Wild Strike is dangerous. Let's beat him down. All right, it doesn't look like we're going to lose this encounter. Um, I guess for next turn, we'll do another balance strike. Plus one and one. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Take that, bitch. Alright. We'll defend. We have the advantage. Actually, we both... He has one dice, I have one extra dice. But we rolled pretty high. Alright. Oh, I could do this. Let's go for a sturdy regular block. No advantage or disadvantages. Dang! Barely dodged. Alright. This guy's got one hit left. His dodge isn't going to do a damn thing. So this time we go all out. And it looks like we're below. So if I... He's going to roll again, which means I cannot hit him for sure. So we're going to have to do a nice cautious poke instead. There's no way I would have got that. There's no real extra rolls to do. All right. Oh, man. Plus two this time. Two dice. It's okay. We have also plus two dice. And we rolled high. Okay. We're going for the high... Uh, dang it. We're going for the sturdy block. Did I win? Alright, nice. Okay, we should be able to get him this time. Come on. Good roll. Good roll. He has no extra dice. He's dead. Mercy kill him. Later, sucker. Victory. Only took one hit. Nice. Alright. Uh, uh, <laughs> what's over here? Campfire. Berries. Campfire. Thank the gods. Thank the gods. An extra modifier on a shield sounds really good. And the next combat. Oh, it's for one combat, huh? Oh, look, it keeps traveling. There's another encounter. How about... We already fought the wolf. Let's try this little imp or orc or earth folk robber. A hostile earth folk blocks your path. All right, hand over some food. Prepare your defenses. Battle cry. I'm gonna kill his ass. Battle cry. All right. His first thing is a dodge. No problem. Wild strike. All right. No problem, Mo. Hey, oh, we. Ooh. Okay. We're screwed. So how about we prepare for next turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy your wonderful dodge, sir. Well, anyway, we got some high defense here. Ooh. Yeah. You can't can't mess with this. Hmm, I have two extra dies while he's gonna roll one more die. I feel confident enough to give us the extra die while lowering our value by three right now. And it worked. You know, it was a little close, but that's fine. Okay, so that's his. Dang, alright. He's got one more. Plunder steals one food for next turn. You gotta kill this guy quick. Oh man, we only got these freaking abilities, huh? Balance strike. Alright, we'll go for a balance strike. Come on, high roll. Dang. Nice. We actually hit him. Alright, what you got, bro? I got an extra freaking defense roll, but he has a freaking uh, roll too. Uh, we're going to go for a nice sturdy block. 
basic basics and we win Let's go for again. Dodge nothing while on strike one one. Okay. Nice. We're doing really good. Okay. We don't have an extra die or anything. Hmm. Mercy kill. Oh, we're on the attack. Hmm. He's gonna roll one more, but balance strike should give us enough. Just in case. Wild strike, eh? Alright, we're up. He's got one more die. I have one more die. <sighs> Go for the high... No. Go for the high ground. Thank God we rolled higher. Ooh, that was a really crazy thing I just did there. Alright, you're going down. We don't even have to worry about the next round if we kill him now. Alright, plus two die. Reckless charge. Plus one. Ooh, this is way better. Mercy kill. Boosh. Get wrecked, bitch. I get food from that combat? Hey, what's that? Fish? For food? Question mark. Uh, Earth one attacks. Uh, give him a fair meal. Give him some food. I'm going to give him some food. We got one hearth. He chants a spell to heal your wounds. Welcome, buddy. All right, my lady. A fair maiden sits upon a rock. Maybe she knows something about her sisters. Ask her. I can't hear you. Come closer. Yeah, right. This is gonna suck. You wade into the water. Oh my god. Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. A shape-shifting water hag. Oh, that's gross. All right. Passive skills. All right. Uh, plus two attack when I'm at two or less health. Dude, that's messed up. Okay. Dodge and ferocious attack plus two. All right. Let's do this, bitch. All right. We go first. <sighs> I think a nice balance strike should do it. No, we're good. We can just uh, straight cautious poke because we definitely hit him. Okay. Psh. I can't believe he rolled a six. I can't believe he rolled a six. All right. We're in good position here, even though we're... Um, oh, my God. Look at him. We got to do a nice... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No likes. Story block. Ooh. Oh, my God. We rolled high. Barely enough. Oh, my God. Look at these freaking bajongas here. All right. Ugh. Uh, pretty good. All right, he doesn't have any dice left. I guess for next turn, we'll give him a nice uh, cautious poke again. Take that, bitch. All right. Gotta have the cautious pokes, everyone. Nice. We're doing really well. One dice left. Psh, I got two dice left. How about we do this? Plus one extra dice for next turn. Bitch. All right. Sharp claws. If success causes bleed, we might end up cautious poking again, honestly. All right. We totally got this. One, one v one die plus two. Yeah, we won. All right. Hey, this cautious poke's really good. Oh, high rolls too. Oof. All right. Sturdy block, come on. Oh my god. Oh no. Bleed. One damage after a turn. That's kind of messed up, isn't it? Alright, well, anyway. Can't believe it. I did my highest roll that I could. Alright, we're going to have to do a mercy kill. Mercy kill shot. It leaves us vulnerable for next turn, but we got to kill him as quick as possible. If we can get through this. Dang, two sixes. 15. This guy's screwed, dude. This guy's so screwed. You ain't gonna get it. You can't even get even if you get a six, you can't attack me. Huh. Oh, we took the bleed damage. Hey, the bleed went away. Alright, time to finish him off. Dang, he's up ahead. Alright. We can go for the kill now. We gotta roll high. Too pretty high. Get wrecked. Woo, victory is mine. Nice. Naki, the scars have been slain. You head back for the safety of the sacred stones. Dawn brings another vision. 
Head east. Retrieve the amulet. I get a skill point. A new skill point. I can go up here again. Deals one su success. One damage on counter attack. Dang. That's cool. So if the enemy rolls low, I can counter. Take one damage if you have any attack with a volume of one. What the hell? Uh, what's this one do? Success. Deal one extra damage after the next attack. That's pretty damn good. Game two the next round for sharp focus. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yo, equalizer. Reroll everything. Ooh, interesting. Let's get some more fish. No luck this time. Failure! Psh, all right, guys. Well, hey, I think we got a really good idea of how Please the God works. You know, you're going to be slowly upgrading your character. I don't think this is a randomized at all. You know, little nodes here and there. Pretty basic combat. A little bit of a push your luck aspect if you like this kind of style. And with the art style here, it seems really indie. It's nice to look at, though. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot if you haven't already. Please subscribe for daily videos. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on Please the Gods. Come by the Twitch live streams. There's a link down below. As well as a link to my secondary YouTube channel for all of my super long Let's Plays. Subscribe to it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.